So we've got a week of preseason under our belts, and you're going to be talking to us about the Seattle Seahawks regular season win total. I see it set at a five and a half. Hey guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. That way you never miss one of our brand new shows, the Picks and Parlays Power Hour. We're talking football Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget to jam that bell for notifications. The juice is on the over on this one. What are your initial thoughts about this Seahawks squad? Well, I got to say real fast, we talked about preseason. We saw all those overs, and then this week, the opening lines were kind of high, and we've seen a few of them kind of trickle back down. So yeah. don't think you're just going to run on bed overs this week, folks. So yeah. That was kind of fluky, there. wasn't yes. it? That was kind of fluky. Yeah, that's a whole other show how that worked out. But uh, here, let's talk regular season. Let's talk Seattle. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, no Russell Wilson here. They mm. traded him away. Apparently he's gone. What, you know, you look at this five and a half and again, people are going to say, wow, you know, these guys have won uh, 10 or more games, like eight of the last 12 years and they no less than seven wins. Totally different team. That's Russell Wilson. That's the Legion of Boom. Not Gino and Drew Locke. You know, uh, this is a team. What? I don't even know what's going on here. Pete Carroll's 71 years old. He's going to stick around for a rebuild. Is this a total tank job? What? Yeah. I. Uh, it's an under for me. I look at the schedule. I'm like, where, where are the wins? At, you know, at Detroit, home Carolina, home Jets. Those those could should be wins. And then where else? I mean, I, I think they lose. I, I I do think they beat Denver open a week. I think that's like a kind of payback game. Like, oh, you want to get traded? You know, I, I kind of like that spot. But where are the six wins coming from? Do they beat Vegas up here? Does Vegas lay an egg in the weather up here? I mean, at New Orleans, I don't think that's an easy game. At the Chargers, you know, that that's not a easy game for them. I, I, I do not see I, a five and a half. It, a six is at a juice to one thirty. So five and a half, we're going to be at what about one ten here at MGM. I, I have it at minus one like thirty five on my site. One thirty five at, at a five and a half. Okay. Cause I saw a six at a minus one thirty, which is my maybe under if it's a, is a plus number. One Oh right. five. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I think this is under, I think this is probably a four win team five, even five are still on the under. Yeah, we're, we're not rolling out, uh, you know, Cortez it's Kennedy, tough. Steve Largent. They're not, you know, we're not seeing all these guys coming in here. You got uh, two decent receivers in Lockhart and Metcalf, but I just uh, preseason wise, I love Gino and Drew Locke. It's a good reason to yeah. kind of back a team. You got two NFL guys ch chucking it. You know, I get it. Regular season. I don't know if I want to go to battle with that. You know. Right. And there's in such a tough division, too. I mean, you got the Rams, the Niners and the Cardinals all above you um, in the division. That doesn't make things any easier as well. Do you see them winning any of their division games? They might get two of them. I mean, really, I don't. They play the Rams tough at home. But again, that's with a different quarterback. That's yeah. all. It's you know, that's you got a whole deal. quarterback out of there. It's a, it's not like you threw in Aaron Rodgers for him or. You know, somebody, insert anybody but guys who have been backups or, right. or mediocre starters. I just don't see it. I, you know, I'll say two. I mean, I'll be shocked if they win none. I mean, can they get swept out here? Right. Um, all right. So we are going with the under five and a half wins on the season for the Seahawks.